Many organizations, especially nonprofits, use Google Sheets for day-to-day -day data management and tracking. In this video, I will show you how you can export your Salesforce data directly into Google Sheets using Google's Data Connector for Salesforce. In order to export data into a Google spreadsheet, you will start with a Google spreadsheet where you want the data to appear. From the menu of the sheet, you will select add-ons and say get add-ons. Search for Salesforce and press enter. You will see several add-ons related to Salesforce. You want to select the data connector for Salesforce. This is the official connector that was created with the partnership between Salesforce and Google and press the free button. You will see a pop-up for the add-on to ask for permission from your account. So select the Google account that you are using and give permission to the data connector by pressing allow. Click on add-ons again, click data connector and click open. The Data Connector pop-up will ask you if you want to log in to your production or your sandbox environment. Select the appropriate account and press Authorize. This will open up another pop-up box that will ask you if you want to connect to a current Salesforce instance. If this is the correct instance, go ahead and press Allow. And this will go ahead and log in to your Salesforce with the Data Connector. Once the data connector has logged into your Salesforce account, it will provide you with four options, reports, import, update, and delete. In this video, we will focus on reports and import. There are three ways to import data from Salesforce into Google Sheet. The first one is through the reports option. So when you select reports, it will ask you what report do you want to pull the data from? So I have a report in my Salesforce instance called Our Nonprofit Board Members of All Time. This lists my current as well as former board members that are associated with my nonprofit. If you are wondering how I created this report, click the card above and you will be taken to another video where I discussed how you can track and report on your board members. So this is the report that I want to pull into my Google Sheet. I want this data in my Google Sheet for many purposes where I need to expose this data to somebody who does not have access to Salesforce. So I will select search all reports, type in a keyword for my report, press search, and it will give me a list of the reports that have that keyword in it. So I will select the Our Nonprofit Board Members of All Time, they import to active sheets, so make sure you're on a sheet that is blank. If you are on a sheet with data that's already in it that you do not want to lose, you would want to add a new sheet and make sure you are on the sheet where you want the data to be exported. And press get data. This will give you a warning to say all data from the active sheet will be replaced. So this is to ensure that you don't lose the data that's already on the sheet. Since this sheet is blank, I'm going to go ahead and press replace. It will take a moment and then it will pull in all the data from that Salesforce report. So as you will notice, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. If your report is a summary report and has groupings, the data that is pulled into Salesforce will not show this grouping. So the data that is pulled in will only be at the row level. The other thing that you will notice uh, is that it formats the column headers very nicely. And the last thing to note is that this data, once it's been pulled in from Salesforce, is no longer connected to Salesforce. So you could update this data. So let's say that I can change this to vice president, and this data is now being saved as the updated data in the spreadsheet. This does not mean that this data has been updated in Salesforce, so that's something to keep in mind. The other thing you could do is add additional columns. So if you wanted to say um, contacted for whatever reason, 
you will be able to add additional data to the spreadsheet because like I said, this data is no longer connected to Salesforce. It's just been pulled from Salesforce into the spreadsheet. To show you the second way that you can export data from Salesforce into Google Sheets, I'm going to click this back arrow and select the import option. This import option will allow you to tell Salesforce exactly what you want to import, including the object, the fields, as well as the filters. So for example, one of the things I want to do is export into this spreadsheet into another sheet all the donation history by household, including total gifts from last year as well as this year. In order to do this, I will go and search for the account object because that is where this data lies. I'm going to select account and press next. In this next screen, I will be asked to select all the fields from the account object that I want to export into the spreadsheet. So the first field I want to export is the account name. So I will select that. The second field that I want to export is the total gifts from last year, as well as the total gifts this year, as well as the best gift year. Now that I have all the fields that I want to export, I'm going to press next. This will bring me to the third screen where I will be asked to select the filtering conditions that I want to apply to specify exactly which records I want to export. So I want to make sure that I am only exporting data from household accounts. So I will search for the type pick list, set it equal to, household and press add to add this filter. Now that I have the object that I want to export, which is the account object, the fields that I want to export, as well as my filtering conditions, I can go ahead and press get data. Again, it will give you a similar warning, making sure that you are on a sheet where you are okay with the data being replaced. Since I'm on a brand new sheet, I will go ahead and press replace. And just like that, it will pull up all the households in my Salesforce instance with the amount given last year, this year, as well as the best gift year. The third and final way to export data from Salesforce into Google Sheets is back into the import option again, scrolling down and selecting the SOQL editor. So I'm going to add a third sheet so that I can add the new data into this spreadsheet and select the SQL editor. In this editor, you can add any SQL query that you have available to you to get data from Salesforce. So I have, for example, a sample SQL query that I'm going to copy and paste into the window. Now this is pulling the same data that I have in the second spreadsheet, but here I am adding an additional condition that says I want to only pull up this data if the opportunity account last year or this year is greater than zero. I'm going to press execute, and you will see that this pulls in a much better report because I have more control over the query that I'm using than the second spreadsheet where I didn't have the ability to add additional logic that I do with the SOQL editor. In our next video, we will discuss how you can update data from Google Sheets directly into Salesforce. If that video is already up, I will link it in the card above. If you like this video, please give me a like, share it with your colleagues, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.